Hi, Justice Rice. Hi. Art Kane again. Yes, hi. So you said you were going to do an interview with me about this transparency issue, and and I, I, I think maybe you misunderstood. I, I wasn't sure who you were, and I don't believe I agreed to it. I okay. understand you now communicated with my press with, person, yeah. Rob McCallum, who said that you denied, denied it. And, yeah. it, and I am not going to have an interview with you, Mr. Kane. Okay, well, I guess we'll do it right now, right here. No, um, the decision, the um, decision has been made, sir. Well, I, you're a public official, so I think I you, I think I'm going to ask you some questions anyway, okay, ma'am. So why do you think the Judiciary Department shouldn't be, shouldn't be required to submit things under op state open records laws, ma'am? Excuse me, sir. Can you not touch me, ma'am, please? Can you not touch me, ma'am? Thank you. So you guys take it a quarter of a million dollars a year in tax taxpayer money and you don't want to release any kind of records, why should the Judiciary Department not be forced to release the records like every other state agency? Mr. Kane, the decision has been made not to interview and to give an interview and I am not going to do so now. Thank you. So you, you make about $140,000 a year from taxpayers. Why do you think they shouldn't know what's going on with that money? And I mean, you're a public official, ma'am. You take billions, you spend millions and millions of taxpayer money, and you won't even answer some basic questions about the, the department. Why is that? I mean, is this a symbol of the, trans the lack of transparency in the whole department? Excuse me.